Basra, Arabic, Al Basra is an Iraqi city located on the Shat al Arab. It had an estimated population of 2.5 million in 2012. Basra is also Iraq's main port, although it does not have deep water access, which is handled at the port of Umm Qasr. The city is one of the ports from which the fictional Sinbad the sailor journeyed. It played an important role in early Islamic history and was built in 636. Basra is consistently one of the hottest cities in Iraq, with summer temperatures regularly exceeding 50 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. In April 2017, the Iraqi parliament recognized Basra as Iraq's economic capital. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The city was called by many names throughout its history, Basra being the most common. In Arabic the word Basra means, the overwatcher, which might have been an allusion to the city's origin as an Arab military base against the Sassanids. Others have argued that the name is derived from the Aramaic word Basratha, meaning, place of huts, settlement. History. Rashidun Caliphate The city was founded at the beginning of the Islamic era in 636 and began as a garrison encampment for Arab tribesmen constituting the armies of the Rashid Caliph Umar. A tell a few kilometers south of the present city, still marks the original site which was a military site. While defeating the forces of the Sassanid Empire there, the Muslim commander Utbar ibn Ghazwan erected his camp on the site of an old Persian military settlement called Vahestabad Ardasir, which was destroyed by the Arabs. The name al-Basra, which in Arabic means, the overwatching, or the seeing everything, was given to it because of its role as a military base against the Sassanid Empire. However, other sources claim the name originates from the Persian word Basra or Basra meaning, where many ways come together. In 639 Umar established this encampment as a city with five districts, and appointed Abu Musa al-Ash'ari as its first governor. The city was built in a circular plan according to the Partho-Sasanian architecture. Abu Musa led the conquest of Kutenstan from 639 to 642 and was ordered by Umar to aid Uthman ibn Abu al as then fighting Iran from a new, more easterly Misar at Tawaj. In 650, the Rashidun Caliph Uthman reorganized the Persian frontier, installed Abdullah ibn Amir as Basra's governor, and put the military's southern wing under Basra's control. Ibn Amir led his forces to their final victory over Yazdegerd III, the Sassanid king of kings. In 656, Uthman was murdered and Ali was appointed caliph. Ali first installed Uthman ibn Hanif as Basra's governor, who was followed by Abdullah ibn Abbas. These men held the city for Ali until the latter's death in 661. Topic: <laughs> Umayyad Caliphate 661 to 750. Topic: Sufyanids 661 to 684. The Sufyanids held Basra until Yazid the First's death in 683. The Sufyanids' first governor was Umayyad Abdullah, a renowned military leader, commanding fealty and financial demands from Karbala, but poor governor. In 664, Muawiyah I replaced him with Ziyad ibn Abi Sufyan, often called. Ibn Abahi, son of his own father, who became infamous for his draconian rules regarding public order. On Ziyad's death in 673, his son Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad became governor. In 680, Yazid I ordered Ubaidullah to keep order in Kufa as a reaction to Hussein ibn Ali's popularity as the grandson of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Ubaidullah took over the control of Kufa. Hussein sent his cousin as an ambassador to the people of Kufa, but Ubaidullah executed Hussein's cousin Muslim ibn Aqil amid fears of an uprising. 
Ubaidullah amassed an army of thousands of soldiers and fought Hussein's army of approximately 70 in a place called Karbala near Kufa. Ubaidullah's army was victorious, Hussein and his followers were killed and their heads were sent to Yazid as proof. Ibn al-Harith spent his year in office trying to put down Nafi Ibn al uprising in Kutenstan. In 685, Ibn al-Zabair, requiring a practical ruler, appointed Umar ibn Ubaid Allah ibn Mamar finally, Ibn al-Zabair appointed his own brother Muzab. In 686, the revolutionary al-Muqtar led an insurrection at Kufa, and put an end to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad near Mosul. In 687, Musab defeated al-Muqtar with the help of Kufans who Muqtar exiled. Abd al-Malik Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan reconquered Basra in 691, and Basra remained loyal to his governor al-Hajjaj during Ibn Ashat's mutiny 699 However, Basra did support the rebellion of Yazid ibn al-Mahalab against Yazid II during the 720s. Topic: Abbasid Caliphate In the 740s, Basra fell to as Safar of the Abbasid Caliphate. During the time of the Abbasids, Basra became an intellectual center and home to the elite Basra school of grammar, the rival and sister school of the Kufa school of grammar. Several outstanding intellectuals of the age were Basrans, Arab polymath Ibn al-Haytham, the Arab literary giant al-Jahiz, and the Sufi mystic Rabia Basri. The Zanj rebellion by the agricultural slaves of the lowlands affected the area. In 871, the Zanj sacked Basra. In 923, the Karmatians, an extremist Muslim sect, invaded and devastated Basra. Topic: Bayad Dynasty From 945 to 1055, a Bayad Dynasty ruled Baghdad and most of Iraq. Abu al-Qasim al-Baridis, who still controlled Basra and Wasit, were defeated and their lands taken by the Bayads in 947. Adid al-Dawla and his sons Diyar al-Dawla and Samsam al-Dawla were the Bayad rulers of Basra during the 970s, 980s and 990s. Sanad al-Dawla al-Habashi the brother of the emir of Iraq is al-Dawla, was governor of Basra and built a library of 15,000 books. Topic: Seljuk Dynasty 1055 to 1194. The Oghuz Turk Tural Beg was the leader of the Seljuks, who expelled the Shiite Bayad Dynasty. He was the first Seljuk ruler to style himself Sultan and protector of the Abbasid Caliphate. Topic: <laughs> Islamic Golden Age. The Great Friday Mosque was constructed in Basra. In 1122, Imad ad-Din Zengi received Basra as a fief. In 1126, Zengi suppressed a revolt and in 1129, Dabis looted the Basra state treasury. A 1200 map, on the eve of the Mongol invasions, shows the Abbasid Caliphate as ruling Lower Iraq and, presumably, Basra. The assassin Rashid ad-Din Sanar was born in Basra on or between 1131 and 1135. In 1258, the Mongols under Hulegu Khan sacked Baghdad and ended Abbasid rule. By some accounts, Basra capitulated to the Mongols to avoid a massacre. The Mamluk Bari dynasty map 1250-1382 shows Basra as being under their area of control, and the Mongol dominions map 1300-1405 shows Basra as being under their control. In 1290 fighting erupted at the Persian Gulf port of Basra among the Genoese, between the Guelph and the Ghibelline factions. Ibn Battuta visited Basra in the 14th century, noting it, "...was renowned throughout the whole world, spacious in area and elegant in its courts, remarkable for its numerous fruit gardens and its choice fruits, since it is the meeting place of the two seas, the salt and the fresh." 
Ibn Battuta also noted that Basra consisted of three quarters, the Hudel quarter, the Banu Haram quarter, and the Iranian quarter Mahalat al -Ajim. Fred Donner adds, if the first two reveal that Basra was still predominantly an Arab town, the existence of an Iranian quarter clearly reveals the legacy of long centuries of intimate contact between Basra and the Iranian plateau. Topic. Period thereafter The Arab al Mughamis tribe established control over Basra in the early 15th century, however, they quickly fell under influence of the Kara Koyunlu and Ak Koyunlu, successively. The al Mughamis control of Basra had become nominal by 1436, de facto control of Basra from 1436 to 1508 was in the hands of the Mashasha. In the latter year, during the reign of King Shah Ishmael I, R. 1501 to 1524, the first Safavid ruler, Basra, and the Mashasha became part of the Safavid Empire. This was the first time Basra had come under Safavid suzerainty. In 1524, following Ishmael I's death, the local ruling dynasty of Basra, the Al Mughamis, resumed effective control over the city. Twelve years later, in 1536, during the Ottoman Safavid War of 1532–1555, the Bedouin ruler of Basra, Rashid ibn Mughamis, acknowledged Suleiman the Magnificent as his suzerain who in turn confirmed him as governor of Basra. The Arab provinces of the Ottoman Empire exercised a great deal of independence, and they even often raised their own troops. Though Basra had submitted to the Ottomans, the Ottoman hold over Basra was tenuous at the time. This changed a decade later, in 1546, following a tribal struggle involving the Mashasha and the local ruler of Zakia near Basra, the Ottomans sent a force to Basra. This resulted in tighter but still nominal Ottoman control over Basra. In 1523, the Portuguese under the command of Antonio Tenreiro crossed from Aleppo to Basra. In 1550, the Portuguese threatened Basra. In 1624, the Portuguese assisted Basra Pasha in repelling a Persian invasion. The Portuguese were granted a share of customs and freedom from tolls. From about 1625 until 1668, Basra and the Delta marshlands were in the hands of local chieftains independent of the Ottoman administration at Baghdad. <laughs> Ottoman Empire. Basra was, for a long time, a flourishing commercial and cultural center. It was captured by the Ottoman Empire in 1668. It was fought over by Turks and Persians and was the scene of repeated attempts at resistance. From 1697 to 1701, Basra was once again under Safavid control. The Zand dynasty under Karim Khan Zand briefly occupied Basra after a long siege in 1775-9. The Zans attempted at introducing Usulai form of Shi'ism on a basically Akbari Shia Basrans. The shortness of the Zand rule rendered this untenable. In 1911, the Encyclopaedia Britannica reported, "...about 4,000 Jews and perhaps 6,000 Christians," living in Basra, but no Turks other than Ottoman officials. In 1884 the Ottomans responded to local pressure from the Shias of the south by detaching the southern districts of the Baghdad Vilayet and creating a new Vilayet of Basra. <inaudible> <inaudible> World Wars After the Battle of Basra 1914, during World War I, the occupying British modernised the port works designed by Sir George Buchanan. These British commercial interests made it one of the most important ports in the Persian Gulf with shipping and trade links to the Far East. During World War II it was an important port through which flowed much of the equipment and supplies sent to Russia by the other Allies. At the end of the Second World War, the population was some 93,000 people. Topic: Post-1945. The population of Basra was 101,535 in 1947, and reached 219,167 in 1957. The University of Basra was founded in 1964. By 1977, the population had risen to a peak population of some 1.5 million. 
The population declined during the Iran–Iraq War, being under 900,000 in the late 1980s, possibly reaching a low point of just over 400,000 during the worst of the war. The city was repeatedly shelled by Iran and was the site of many fierce battles, such as Operation Ramadan and Operation Karbala 5. After the war, Saddam erected 99 memorial statues to Iraqi generals and commanders killed during the war along the bank of the Shat al-Arab River, all pointing their fingers towards Iran. After the first Persian Gulf War, which the U.S. called Operation Desert Storm, in 1991, a rebellion struck Basra. The widespread revolt was against Saddam Hussein who violently put down the rebellion, with much death and destruction inflicted on Basra. Topic: 1999 Second Revolt. On the 25th of January 1999, Basra was the scene of scores of civilian casualties when a missile fired by a U.S. warplane was dropped in a civilian area. Eleven persons were killed and 59 injured. General Antony Zinni, then commander of U.S. forces in the Persian Gulf, acknowledged that it was possible that a missile may have been errant. While such casualty numbers pale in comparison to later events, the bombing occurred one day after Arab foreign ministers, meeting in Egypt, refused to condemn four days of air strikes against Iraq in December 1998. This was described by Iraqi Information Minister Human Abdel Khalik as giving the United States and Britain an Arab green card to attack Iraq. A second revolt in 1999 led to mass executions in and around Basra. Subsequently, the Iraqi government deliberately neglected the city, and much commerce was diverted to UM QASR. These alleged abuses are to feature amongst the charges against the former regime to be considered by the Iraq Special Tribunal set up by the Iraq Interim Government following the 2003 invasion. Workers in Basra's oil industry have been involved in extensive organization and labor conflict. They held a two-day strike in August 2003, and formed the nucleus of the Independent General Union of Oil Employees in June 2004. The union held a one-day strike in July 2005, and publicly opposes plans for privatizing the industry. <laughs> 2003–07, Iraq War and Occupation In March through to May 2003, the outskirts of Basra were the scene of some of the heaviest fighting in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. British forces, led by the 7th Armoured Brigade, took the city on 6 April 2003. This city was the first stop for the United States and the United Kingdom during the 2003 invasion of Iraq. On 21 April 2004, a series of bomb blasts ripped through the city, killing 74 people. The multinational division Southeast, under British command, was engaged in security and stabilization missions in Basra Governorate and surrounding areas during this time. Political groups centered in Basra were reported to have close links with political parties already in power in the Iraqi government, despite opposition from Iraqi Sunnis and the more secular Kurds. January 2005 elections saw several radical politicians gain office, supported by religious parties. American journalist Stephen Vincent, who had been researching and reporting on corruption and militia activity in the city, was kidnapped and killed on the 2nd of August 2005. On the 19th of September 2005, two undercover British SAS soldiers disguised in Arab civilian clothes and headdresses opened fire on Iraqi police officers after having been stopped at a roadblock, killing at least one. After the two soldiers were arrested, the British Army raided the jail they were being held in to rescue them, killing several people from among their nominal allies. The Iraqi security forces, British troops transferred control of Basra province to the Iraqi authorities in 2007, four and a half years after the invasion. A BBC survey of local residents found that 86% thought the presence of British troops since 2003 had had an overall negative effect on the province. Major General Abdul Jalil Khalif was appointed police chief by the central government with the task of taking on the militias. He was outspoken against the targeting of women by the militias. Talking to the BBC, he said that his determination to tackle the militia had led to almost daily assassination attempts. This was taken as sign that he was serious in opposing the militias. Topic: 
Topic 2008. In March 2008, the Iraqi army launched a major offensive, code-named Saulit al fursan Charge of the White Knights, aimed at forcing the Mahdi army out of Basra. The assault was planned by General Mohan Furaji and approved by Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al Maliki. In April 2008, following the failure to disarm militant groups, both Major General Abdul Jalil Khalif and General Mohan Furaji were removed from their positions in Basra. Topic 2014. Basra was scheduled to host the 22nd Arabian Gulf Cup tournament in Basra Sports City, a newly built multi-use sports complex. The tournament was shifted to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, after concerns over preparations and security. Iraq was also due to host the 2013 tournament, but that was moved to Bahrain. Topic 2018. At least 10 demonstrators died as they protested against the lack of clean drinking water and electrical power in the city during the height of summer in 2018. Some protesters stormed the Iranian consulate in the city. Topic: <laughs> Geography. Basra is located on the Shat al Arab waterway, downstream of which is the Persian Gulf. The Shat al Arab and Basra waterways define the eastern and western borders of Basra, respectively. The city is penetrated by a complex network of canals and streams, vital for irrigation and other agricultural use. These canals were once used to transport goods and people throughout the city, but during the last two decades, pollution and a continuous drop in water levels have made river navigation impossible in the canals. Basra is roughly 110 kilometers 68 miles from the Persian Gulf. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Climate. Basra has a hot desert climate, Köppen climate classification BWH, like the rest of the surrounding region, though it receives slightly more precipitation than inland locations due to its location near the coast. During the summer months, from June to August, Basra is consistently one of the hottest cities on the planet, with temperatures regularly exceeding 50 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in July and August. In winter Basra experiences mild weather with average high temperatures around 20 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. On some winter nights, minimum temperatures are below 0 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. High humidity, sometimes exceeding 90% is common due to the proximity to the marshy Persian Gulf. An all-time high temperature was recorded on July 22, 2016, when daytime readings soared to 53.8 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit. This is one of the hottest temperatures ever measured on the planet. The following night, the nighttime low temperature was 38.8 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit, which was one of the highest minimum temperatures on any given day, only outshone by Kasib, Oman and Death Valley, California, USA. The lowest temperature ever recorded in Basra was minus 4.7 degrees Celsius .5 degrees Fahrenheit on January 22, 1964. Topic: Demographics. In Basra, the vast majority of the population are ethnic Arabs of the Adnanite or the Katanite tribes. The tribes located in Basra include Al Emira, Bani Mansur, Dulaim, Shama, Juba, Bani Taman, Bani Malik, Zubaid, Al Shvalat, Sawaid, Al Bo Muhammad, Al Bada, Al Ubadi, Rubar Sayyid tribes, descendants of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, and other Arab tribes. In addition to the Arabs, there is also a community of Afro-Iraqi peoples, known as Zanj. The Zanj are a Muslim ethnic group living in Iraq and are a mix of African peoples taken from the coast of the area of modern-day Kenya as slaves in the 900s. They now number around 200,000 in Iraq. Religion 
Basra is a major Shia city, with the old Akbari Shiism progressively being overwhelmed by the Uzulai Shiism. The Sunni population is tiny and dropping in their percentage as more Iraqi Shias move into Basra for various job or welfare opportunities. The satellite town of Az Zabair in the direction of Kuwait was a Sunni town, but the burgeoning population of Basra has spilled over into Zabair, turning it into an extension of Basra with a slight Shia majority as well. Assyrians were recorded in the Ottoman census as early as 1911, and a small number of them live in Basra. However, a significant number of the modern community are refugees fleeing persecution from ISIS in the Nineveh Plains, Mosul, and northern Iraq. But ever since the liberation of ISIS in Iraq many Christians have returned to their homeland in the Nineveh Plains. In 2018 there are about a few thousand Christians in Basra. One of the largest communities of pre-Islamic Mandians live in the city, whose headquarters was in the area formerly called Sukesh Sheikh. Topic: Cityscape. The Old Mosque of Basra, the first mosque in Islam outside the Arabian Peninsula. Sinbad Island is located in the center of Shat al Arab, near the Min al Makal, and extends above the Bridge Khalid and is a tourist landmark. The Mermud Bakir al Sada Bridge, at the union of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, was completed in 2017. Sayab's House Ruins is the site of the most famous home of the poet Bada Shakir al Sayab. There is also a statue of Sayab, one of the statues in Basra done by the artist and sculptor Nada Kadam, located on Al Basra Corniche. It was unveiled in 1972. Basra Sports City is the largest sports city in the Middle East, located on the Shat al Basra. Palm tree forests are largely located on the shores of Shat al Arab Waterway, especially in the nearby village of Abu al Kashab. Corniche al Basra is a street which runs on the shore of the Shat al Arab, it goes from the Lion of Babylon Square to the Four Palaces. Basra International Hotel, formerly known as Basra Sheraton Hotel is located on the Corniche Street. The only five star hotel in the city, it is notable for its Shanashil style exterior design. The hotel was heavily looted during the Iraq War, and it has been renovated recently. Sayyid Ali al Masawi Mosque, also known as the Mosque of the Children of Ama, is located in the city centre, on Al Ghazir Street, and it was built for Shia Imami's leader Sayyid Ali al Musawi, whose followers lived in Iraq and neighbouring countries. The fun city of Basra, which is now called Basra Land, is one of the oldest theme park entertainment cities in the south of the country, and the largest involving a large number of games giants. It was damaged during the war, and has been rebuilt. Akora Park is one of the city's older parks. It is located on Al Basra Street. There are four formal presidential palaces in Basra. The Latin Church is located on the 14th of July Street. Indian Market Amogais is one of the main bazaars in the city. It is called the Indian Market, since it had Indian vendors working there at the beginning of the last century. Hana Sheikh Bazaar is an old market, it was established by the powerful and famous Hana Sheikh family. Economy <inaudible> 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 The city is located along the Shat al Arab waterway, 55 kilometers (34 miles) from the Persian Gulf and 545 kilometers (339 miles) from Baghdad, Iraq's capital and largest city. Its economy is largely dependent on the oil industry. Iraq has the world's fourth largest oil reserves, estimated to be more 115 billion barrels (18.3 times 10 to the 9 cubic meters). Some of Iraq's largest oil fields are located in the province, and most of Iraq's oil exports leave from Al Basra Oil Terminal. The South Oil Company has its headquarters in the city. Substantial economic activity in Basra is centered around the petrochemical industry, which includes the Southern Fertilizer Company and the State Company for Petrochemical Industries (SCPI). The Southern Fertilizer Company produces ammonia solution, urea and nitrogen gas, while the SCPI focus on such products as ethylene, caustic, chlorine, vinyl chloride monomer VCM, polyvinyl chloride PVC, low-density polyethylene, and high-density polyethylene. 
Basra is in a fertile agricultural region, with major products including rice, maize corn, barley, pearl millet, wheat, dates, and livestock. For a long time, Basra was known for the superior quality of its dates. Basra was known in the 1960s for its sugar market, a fact that figured heavily in the English contract law remoteness of damages case The Heron II 1969 1 AC 350. Shipping, logistics and transport are also major industries in Basra. Basra is home to all of Iraq's six ports. Um Qasr is the main deep water port with 22 platforms, some of which are dedicated to specific goods such as sulfur, seeds, lubricant oil, etc. The other five ports are smaller in scale and more narrowly specialized. Fishing was an important business before the oil boom. The city also has an international airport, with service into Baghdad with Iraqi Airways the national airline. Sports The city is home to the sports team Al Minna. Its basketball division is among the Arab elite teams that compete at the Arab Club Basketball Championship. In fiction In Voltaire's Zadig, Basora is the site of an international market where the hero meets representatives of all the world religions and concludes that, "...the world is one large family which meets at Basora." The city of Basra has a major role in H. G. Wells's 1933 future history, "...the shape of things to come," where the "...modern state," is at the center of a world state emerging after a collapse of civilization, and becomes in effect the capital of the world. In the 1940 film The Thief of Baghdad, Ahmed and Abu flee to the city from Baghdad. Ahmed falls in love with the Sultan's beautiful daughter, who is also desired by his enemy, and former Grand Vizier, Jaffa. In Scott K. Andrews' Operation Motherland, the second book in the post-apocalyptic After Blight Chronicles, the character Lee Keegan Crash lands his plane in the streets of Basra during the opening chapter. Topic: Famous citizens. Rabia al Adoria, known as Rabia of Basra, early Muslim mystic. Topic: Twin towns, sister cities. Basra is twinned with Baghdad, Iraq; Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Houston, Texas, United States Nishapur, Iran Baku, Azerbaijan Aqaba, Jordan See also List of places in Iraq Afro-Iraqis Basra International Airport Dua Kamel Basra Reed Warbler University of Basra Um Qasr port equals equals notes <laughs>